Hello and welcome to an instructional video for the release of Carlson 2014 Civil Module. Today's video will be highlighting a new profile entry and editing feature that we've added under the profiles pulldown for Carlson 2014. In Carlson 2014 we've made a number of changes and actually have added a command specifically for sewer pipe entry. Let's review the existing command of input editing a profile and I will create a new profile profile here and we'll just call that profile 1. And traditionally in profile 1 we had the generic, the road, the sewer, pipe, crossing, and circular where a user could enter in station and elevation and when they would get additional structures in there they could input the rim elevation as well as the slope and that would allow for entry method. The challenge in this command however was that if a user wanted to have separate input entry options for not only the invert but also for what we're calling a sump or drop information we we're a little limited in some of that functionality. So again, I've activated two commands here. One of them is the one that was in the existing software all the way up to Carlson 2014. And now we'll be highlighting the input edit sewer pipe profile. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my existing profile. And I'm going to do some very simple entry here to give you an overview. We have the traditional viewer area. When a user enters in the data, it will show up on top. We've also given a little diagram as far as uh, the traditional terminology for sump and step up. So my first entry will be a manhole. I'm going to start my stationing at 10 plus 00. zero. My invert in, I'm going to use a, some lower elevations here. So my invert in and my invert out will automatically be entered. The rim elevation can be entered also manually. And then when I enter in my second structure, excuse me, my second structure ID, and we'll use some very simple numbers here. My invert in, let's say we're going down, so I'm going to go invert in of 9. And then my rim elevation was 20. I'll make this 19.58. And we can see in the display here, and even when we click in the area, we see the data showing up. Enter in a third structure. Make this at uh, 1180. The invert in on this one, we'll make that 8.5. And then the rim elevation, we'll make that at 21. So again, we have a new methodology for entering in the data. Over here on the corresponding area, we actually give you a length option. So let's say on your plans that you have uh, the distance versus the stationing. You could actually do a manual adjust here. So we'll make this 85, and your stationing will automatically update. That was at 1180. I just adjusted it from 80 to 85, and it made the adjustment. And I'll make it back if that was an error. Slope can also be edited and changed. Obviously, traditional pipe sizes can be entered in here manually. But again, this is a very simplistic entry method with a number of editing options that were not in the existing command before. So let's highlight one of these. So let's say that this is a obviously a very continuous slope. We made a slight adjustment. More traditionally, we make a half, uh, half a percent either in a plus or minus. And again, I'm highlighting some errors that I'm typing in. So let's say I typed in, I wanted a, a minus half percent. I made the adjustment. I simply just tab back minus 0.5, and the adjustment is automatically highlighted. Let's say in this structure here that we do have a drop associated to that. Maybe we have a perpendicular pipe coming in. So this is where we're going to highlight the sump or drop option. So on the third structure, if I enter in a, a data 
or enter in data at this point, let's say we're going to drop that five foot. We're going to see that the information shown here is now five foot below and it is now graphically represented there. We're going to highlight the sump or drop feature in an additional movie, but I wanted to give you a brief overview of the new input edit sewer profile function for Carlson 2014.